Hi, I'm Gino Sujismani with Sure System Support Team. I'm here today at Sweetwater to talk to you about the benefits of antenna combining for personal in-ear monitor system transmitters. One of the most overlooked aspects of configuring any wireless system, whether it's microphones or in-ear monitors, tends to be how to properly handle the antennas, particularly when you've got multiple devices with antennas and lots of antennas connected to your equipment rack. Ideally, you want to reduce those antennas as much as possible. This is accomplished in an in-ear monitor system via something called an antenna combining unit, actually an active antenna combining unit. And that's all an antenna combiner does is takes the output of several transmitters and combines those signals all together so that you can have one antenna for all of your in-ear monitor transmitters. There are several benefits to doing this. Uh, number one, when you have several closely spaced antennas, they can actually interact with one another and disrupt their polar patterns, so you get bad or erratic coverage from your in-ear monitor system. But most importantly, and this is particular to in-ear monitor transmitters, closely spaced transmitters can interact with one another and produce what are called intermodulation distortion products, which are other frequencies that can cause interference with your wireless system. A good antenna combiner effectively uh, eliminates or vastly reduces the level of those intermodulation products, which not only makes your in-ear monitor systems work better, it actually makes all of your wireless audio systems work better, again, by reducing the level of those products. So anytime you're using more than, say, two in-ear monitor transmitters that are going to be rack mounted together, you should always, always use an, a combiner. For the Sure PSM systems, we have two different combiners. This one here on the top is the PA411, which is a four input combiner that is uh, meant for use with our PSM300 system. So the P3T transmitters, I have four of them connected to the PA411 here with the antenna that, again, all four transmitters are connected now through this one antenna via the combiner. We also have the PA421A and PA821A. The 421 is also a four input combiner. The 821 is an eight input combiner. These are a little bit higher end combiners that are able to handle higher power levels. So these should be used with our PSM 900 and PSM 1000 transmitters. A neat feature of these uh, particular combiners is a built in front panel passive combiner that allows you to connect multiple combiners together. So you could actually gang together two PA821s, for example, and have 16 transmitters all connected down to one set of antennas. It's also worth noting that these combiners are basically brand agnostic. In other words, as long as the uh, transmitters that you're connecting to it are in the same frequency band or range that these transmitter uh, combiners can handle, then there's really no problem. Can you be used with anything? Uh, just as a, as a side note, a good practice when you're using um, personal monitor systems and wireless in-ear systems uh, in the same stage, or particularly if they're all rack mounted together, is remote mount this antenna away from the rack by about six feet to keep the high-powered personal monitor transmitters from desensitizing the sensitive wireless microphone receivers. Uh, always a good thing to do, and again, when you're running through a combiner, uh, that makes it easy to do because you only have to pull one antenna away from the rack instead of four or more. So that's antenna combining for in-ear monitor transmitters. For more information about antenna combining or questions about any other Sure product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.